You're listening to Daily Minute Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on. Right, Mia? Hit the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and hearing, or if you just think Maddie, Mia, Mia is cute, or Maddie, my other girl. <laughs> I called you Maddie, didn't I? Uh, or if you just think she's cute, you can hit the thumbs up. You can also comment. You can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you have something that you want to talk about, um, something more serious or personal or whatever the case may be. You can shoot me an email. The title of today's devotion is Facing Death. Ooh, not such a bright topic there. Let's jump over here. Facing death, scripture. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sor sorrow, nor crying. Revelation 21, 4. In the beginning, death was not a part of God's original plan. He created you and me for himself. He intended us to live with him and enjoy him forever in an uninterrupted personal love relationship. But sin came into our lives and broke the very relationship with God for which we were created. That's sad, isn't it? I know. We were gonna live forever and feel no pain. Life was gonna be pretty amazing if it wasn't for that darn tree, that snake. When your loved one dies and your grief is tinged with anger, don't direct it toward God. He's angry too. Direct it towards sin and its devastating consequences. Dedicate yourself to sharing the gospel as often as you can. Pray that through your witness, others who face physical death will choose to escape the second death, which is hell, the ultimate separation from God by placing their faith in Jesus Christ. If you don't know what that means and you're listening to this right now and you're questioning what that's all about or what I'm talking about, never heard of it, don't believe in it, don't know what I'm saying, Shoot me an email, dailymanamedia at gmail.com, and we will talk about it and uh, discuss what it means, and perhaps you will escape the second death of hell and join us in heaven. As we face death, our only hope is in knowing there is genuine, triumphant, permanent victory over it that is available to us in Jesus' name. This devotion comes out of the joy of my heart, a devotional by Anne Graham. That's a short devotion, but... There is no more important devotion. No more important devotion than that because it talks about salvation and how we are saved from the second death of hell and join God in heaven. There's literally nothing more important than that. Our lives here on earth are so short, Mia. But in heaven we have an eternity, so it's much more important to be saved so that you can escape the second death and go to heaven with all of us Christians. Right? I can't wait till you get old enough to the age of accountability and we will talk all about it. And when you're ready, you will be a Christian. For now, you're just going to be a perfect little innocent angel. Isn't she sweet? Just laying on me, sucking her fingers. So now you suck your hand. <laughs> she sucks her hand. Isn't that so cute? Sorry. It's just so adorable. So adorable. Okay, thanks for listening. Enough about Mia. And if you wonder, like I said, if you're wondering what that means, what I'm talking about in this devotion, make sure you shoot me an email because there's nothing more important than that. I'd love to talk to you about it. And we can talk all about it, discuss it, what it means, and how you can uh, be there with us. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.